I say he's gonna laugh at you. Read. I will mock when your fear coming. He's gonna mock when you be afraid. When you start shaking California, that you know they talk about California you're supposed to fall off into the ocean somewhere. And y'all floating out in the ocean. Y'all see tidal waves, what they do? He said he ain't gonna flood the earth no more, but he can bring a tidal wave. He can cover everything that you see here right now. Or he can start shaking the earth with an earthquake. Understand it, say when your fear come, when you be afraid, he said he gonna be laughing at you and mock you with the angels. Read. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation. Tell him he gonna take everything you got. Read. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Or like a tornado. Read. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Then you're gonna call upon them. Since you think it's, it's a joke right now, you're gonna call upon them. Read. Then shall you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. The most I said. He said, what? Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. What you gonna do when the most I don't answer you? And you crying to him, because he done jacked your butt up. You understand this? Isaiah 29 and six. See, a lot of y'all think the most high is mother nature. A lot of y'all been taught the most high, power of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob, is El Nino. Or La Nina, little boy, little girl. That's mockery, man. How you think the most I feel when y'all following the suit of somebody calling him a mother, nature, calling him little boy, calling the most high little girl. Oh, y'all gonna pay for this, man. That's why he said this, read. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thus shalt thou shalt be visited of the most high of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest, and the flame of devouring fire. Yeah, man. There's been times, man, when the Most High hell, hell that weighed 75 pounds. What do you think kind of destruction that was, man? He rained hell with fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. What is America now? If it's not Get it in Revelations. Let's see. What is America considered in the Bible? And he, he, he rained hell on five cities, man. That's still the ruins out here with us today. And Lot's wife. He said, don't turn around. Don't look back. She turned around. She's in, we can look at the dictionary and show you her. That's right. Standing right today. That's right. Now, you know, the Bible is true, man. And Israel is a desolation. That's right. It ain't what you see on TV and what you go over there and see. Israel, he said, gonna be desolate. It is a desolation, man. And it's gonna be like that until the most high. Bring the kingdom down. And he burned this place up, man. He gotta, he gotta burn this place up. He gotta purify this land. That's right. Ain't nobody gonna live here in America. Listen, read. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of, that, of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. The dead bodies, man. Your carcass is going to lay right here in America, which is called spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Why? Because you have all kind of sodomy going on right here in Hollywood and everywhere in the world. But mainly in America, it's called spiritually Sodom and Egypt, which is, means captivity, slavery, and bondage because you have the children of Israel right here. That's why it's called that. You see, you don't wake up. It's gonna be too late for y'all. It's gonna be too late, man. What you gonna do when he come for you? Cause he coming. He's coming. Believe that. Get Matthew 24 and three. Listen. St. Matthew 24 and three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? When shall these things be? They were asking him a question when he was on the earth in the flesh. Read. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What's going to be the sign of his second coming? Read. And of the end of the world. And of what? The end of the world. So he said, what's going to be the sign of his second coming and the end of the world? So we have one sign we can give you. We can show you who's going to be ruling in the end of the world. Second Ezra 6 and 9. The Bible answers itself, y'all.
So it says, what's going to be the sign of his coming in the end of the world? So who will be ruling during the end of the world? Let's read. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. That's why you keep hearing me say, we got next, man. That's right. To rule the world in righteousness forever and ever and ever. But Esau is the end of the world. So who would be Esau? The so-called white man. That's his biblical name. So he'll be ruling during the end of the world. And y'all ruling? Y'all don't think y'all ruling? Oh, y'all Obama's in office, so that make that mean that y'all not move? Y'all not ruling? Get out of here, man. He coming, he coming to, to say something, y'all even stand up. <laughs> of all presidents, y'all even stand up. You suck on white people, y'all even stand up for him. Y'all Y'all still got that racism, that prejudice, and all that. And he not even our people. He's a Hamite. Right. We're from Shem. That's right. And you still, just because he got pigment and melanin, y'all don't like him. That's right. And that's real. But all oh, y'all wait to Trump get up in there. <laughs> yeah. Y'all wait on that, huh? He gonna fool the world, boy. Didn't he go against the Pope? <laughs> Didn't he go against y'all Pope? Yeah. Sound like Antichrist to me. He can kill us, man. He already got his money. He don't care nothing about y'all. Nobody. That's why it's gonna be escalated near the end. If you don't hear the word of the Most High, it's gonna be too late. That's why they said, hey, they asked my shack up shot. What's gonna be the sign of his coming? He's coming and the end of the world. Now we know that the so-called white man is gonna be ruling during the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of that following. Because that's what y'all have. Y'all don't, if y'all not enjoying the prestige of ruling the world, that's on y'all. You know? But don't worry, y'all gonna really y'all gonna be able to be in our kingdom and have y'all position there. Just like you paying taxes to the IRS, we're gonna be the new IRS. Instead of Internal Revenue Service, gonna be Israelites <laughs> receiving services. That's right. How long? Forever and ever and ever. That's right. That's it. Amen. That's it. Amen. Let's read. Second Ezra six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Yeah. So go back to Matthew twenty four. So we know that Esau gonna be ruling in the end of the world. Yes, y'all kingdom. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> he said Ezra, 2nd Ezra 6 verse, 6th chapter, the ninth verse. Read. Matthew 24. Okay. We're talking about the end of the world. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? I want to know what's going to be the sign of him coming and the end of the world. Read. And Hamashiach Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Many going to come in his name, saying, He's Christ. Just like Christian, Christian. It's got nothing to do with this Bible. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. That's, why, that's what they do up in them churches. Many people have been deceived. If not, come forth with your reasoning. Read. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Wars and rumors of wars. All over the world. Read. See that ye be not troubled. Don't be troubled. Read. For all these things must come to pass. They must come to pass. Read. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. That's why we still here. Read. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right now, look at all the places that's having earthquakes. Shaking everywhere all over the world, man. Places that you wouldn't think have no earthquake. New York had an earthquake. They got basements, man. People running out of high-rise buildings, man, at work. Shaking. Just what he said is true. Earthquakes. You can be visiting with earthquakes. You know California due for a big one. The last big one we had was when? North Ridge. North Ridge, right? Yeah. It's coming, y'all. That's why we tell you you gotta come back to the most high and learn his word, learn his laws before it's too late. That's why we're here to prophesy to let you know you gotta become obedient to him and stop being wicked. Or else he's gonna put you to death. You got a choice to choose life 
or death. That's it. Read. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Come on. Then shall they deliver you up to be a jump, jump to verse uh, 12. I mean, uh, 21. Verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Great, great tribulation, since was not since the beginning of the world, man. It's coming, y'all. What y'all think? Y'all think they set down 269 Walmart stores? All the money they make? <laughs> They shut down Walmart stores. The place has become a ghost town. That's how powerful they were. The walls in Walmart is about this thick. With special cement and wire that they have that you can't dig through. Concentration camps, y'all. Look at Walmart, brother. You take wall, look at wall. I was sitting in, in the parking lot of Walmart. I looked over to most. I said, look over to the left. I looked to the left. I seen W-A-L. I seen a pentagram right there in the middle of it. Then it said M-A-R-T. Now you had I-A-L to M-A-R-T, what you got? Marshall, and you go backwards with your W-A-L, you got law. That's what they bring in, man. It's already right there in your face, but when they come for you, what you gonna do if you don't know the most high? Give me Psalms 34 and 7. This is where you ought to be at, man. Read that, Psalm 34 and 7. Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Most High encampeth round about them that fear him. The angel of the Most High encampeth around those that are afraid of the Most High. Those that are scared of the Most High. And you're afraid, so you'll do what he say do. You're scared, so you're going to make sure you do what he say do because he's the one that kill. And he's the one that make a lie. He's the one that bring down to the grave and bring it up, man. This is what we're talking about. But see, y'all don't know him because y'all think he all love. Y'all done, done set this sucker up and somebody just left. They won't stand for this. They won't stand long enough to represent this since they say this is who they believe in. Why you run? Stand boldly for what you believe in and prove it. I'm tired of this damn lie, man. That's why we got horns on his head. Why we got 666 on his forehead. Because it's the devil. That's right. You can't prove no otherwise. No way. Come prove it. 